Hey, what's up guys, Aiden here. And yep, I'm back with another abandoned video. Now, here is one that I did not expect to make. Uh, as you can see, I'm in front of an old steak and shake. Um, this is actually uh, my childhood one. Um, I, I ate here a lot as a kid and as of 2022, it was the last time I ate here. So, yeah, it's now abandoned. Um, I, as you know, a lot of steak and shakes around the United States are abandoned. Um, as you can see here. Yep. Many years this place was open, but now it's closed and abandoned. Um, I was doing a little bit of research, and from what I found out, this place actually closed, uh, last year, August of 2023. As you can see, there's the sign that says, Welcome to Steak and Shake. They've left all the booths and stuff inside. Um, oh yeah, there's rocks around, so. Alright, here's the inside, and whoa! Whoa! There's actually still lights on in there. Holy moly. So this place is definitely still getting power. Um, here we go. As you can see, they just got up and left. All the booths are still intact. You can see that they're packing stuff up. Um, I, yeah, the, yeah, see... I'm trying the doors. The doors are locked. Here's this side where you can get a view of the, um, uh, inside there. It was like, um, basically Steak and Shake was like one of those old school, like, diner type places. Let's see. Yep, that door is locked too. That's okay. You can see pretty well inside anyway. Uh, but yeah. You could see like all like the dish stuff and whatnot and like all the containers that would hold like, you know, the different um, burger sauces and fry dipping sauce and all that. Uh, but yeah, they're just packing everything up inside. Uh, there used to be things here on the uh, windows. They've taken those down. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, like I said, the doors were locked. And there's really no reason to get inside anyway because you can see everything quite well through the windows. They don't have the windows covered, so. As you can see, there's the old lighting fixtures, there's the steak and shake sign. And we'll walk around the building too. Um, over here, they actually had an old um, like outdoor seating area at one point. Um, as you can see, the tables themselves are gone. But, um, as for, like, the, um, uh, um, thing where you could, like, put your head through and stuff, that's still here. And it's actually in pretty good shape, despite it being, you know, left outside, you know, you know, left to the elements, but it's still in pretty good shape. But, yeah... Over here, there's another Steak and Shake sign up there. Now, these, um, this door doesn't have any door handles, so, um, uh, there's no point in trying that. Let's see. Are these doors locked? Yep, locked. What about this one? Is this locked? Yeah, it's locked, too. But if we come around to the back of the building here. Um, you can see that, um, yeah, they're just cleaning out the place. Here was the old drive-through. They used to have stuff up there. There's no door handle on that one, so there's no point in trying the doors. And as you can see right there, famous for our steak burgers, steak and shake. Um, but yeah. And then over here is the old drive-through window. 
Yeah, this is the old drive through window right here. Again, guys, these doors are locked. So I'm not even gonna bother trying them, but you can see inside just fine. Get to focus there. Yeah, you can see the old kitchen area where they would cook the burgers and... Yeah, old school 1950s diner. And yeah, as you can see, closed. And then this is where you would get your to-go food and stuff like that. Yeah, just more windows and stuff. Here if we, here we go. Yeah, you can see inside pretty clearly. Yeah, there, all that's left in here is like the tables and um, stuff like that. That's pretty much all that's left. But yeah, I I remember eating here as a kid. And so I have some pretty fond memories of this place. And it's sad to see it go, but you know, that kind of stuff happens. It happens. Nothing will be around forever, unfortunately. Who knows, maybe a new restaurant might move in here one day or or this place might get torn down to the ground. Who knows? Oh yeah, you can get a better view of the inside there. And like where like the drinks were. <laughs> they still have the menu sign up there. Um, right up front here, there used to be a claw machine, but that's uh, long since been taken out. I don't know what happened to it, but, but yeah, I just figured, you know, I document this place you know, before it gets torn down, you know, because it's like, these places, like I said, aren't going to be around forever. One of these days, this place will most likely get torn down and something new will go here. But, um, yeah. And, um, I know I say this in every, um, video I do or almost every video, but, um, if you guys come to explore abandoned places, please, um, just please don't vandalize the places because it, it, it gives urban explorers, you know, a bad name. And, and the reason why people like me and other people on YouTube, like Wally B 26, that Nate guy on YouTube, um, and people like that, uh, film these places. It's just so we can document them and have the memories of these places, you know, preserved on YouTube. Because, like I said many times, these places aren't going to be around forever. And they'll either get turned into something new or they'll get torn down or something. So that's why we like to document these places to keep the memory of them alive. So, yeah. Um... I guess before I sign off here, I guess we'll get up closer to the, um, uh, um, old, um, uh, like photo opportunity thing that they had. Uh, if I remember correctly, I know the French fry gal, her name was Goldie. Um, I think the burgers, the burger guy's name was Sizzle or something like that. It's been so many years since I've looked at their names that I can't remember. I think his name was like Sizzle or something like that. And Shaker, I think his name was the um, Shake. Um, I, I, that one and that one, I don't really remember their names, but I know her name was Goldie because you know, golden French fries and whatnot. And then as you can see, it says, Steak and Shake, famous for, our, famous for steak burgers. Now I know there are still some locations that are still open, but there are definitely a lot of them that are still, you know, left abandoned. Like, like this one. Which, um, like I said, was my childhood one. As you can see, oh yeah, look, there's like all the mustard containers. And then, like, all the stuff that would hold, like, the napkins and whatnot. Yeah, you you could see, like, 
it was like a 1950 style diner and as you can see up there if my camera would focus there we go uh, it doesn't want to focus but you can see the uh 1950 style neon up there it's still up there they haven't taken that down yet which to me is so cool but um yeah i mean granted it would have been cool if i could have you know gone inside and explored this place but you know if it's meant to be you know a door would open up you know it would meant it would basically be meant to be if i were to get inside you know door would open up but if it's not meant to be it's not meant to be and to be honest that is completely okay um, I'm just glad you guys could at least see inside through the windows. And, um, yeah, um, I'm just glad I was able to document this place for you guys, um, before, um, it's gone, pretty much, you know, or at least what's left. I really like that, um, uh, Steak and Shake sign. And while on camera... And when you look at these things, when you look up there, it may seem small up there, but, but when you're actually standing next to the letters, it's pretty big. I know it was like that with my childhood, Toys R Us. I actually got to go up close to the letters when they were in the back room when it was a spirit, my childhood Toys R Us, um, off of uh, 95th Street here in uh, Quivira, Kansas. And um, the letters were pretty big, so yeah, once you're actually, yeah, excuse me, actually standing next to them, they're pretty big, so yeah, but I, I know I said it once already, but it bears repeating. If you guys come explore abandoned places, please do not vandalize the place, um, because it, like I said, it gives urban explorers, like, like me a bad name and it's like we basically we're here to take nothing leave nothing but footprints and just document this place that's all we're here to do is document it so yeah that's pretty much all i got for this place so with that being said guys hope you guys enjoyed my look at the abandoned steak and shake here in uh olathe kansas so hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and bye.